Okay, everyone, I know this is kind of loud, so I'm just going to give you a real quick synopsis here. This is a, obviously not a common rail. This is a 12 valve, but the principle goes the same. And I'm just going to show you. So right here is the oil, oil filler cap. And uh, this is just a little blow-by testing. You know, if you're going to go out there and look for a Cummins, we want to make sure that you're getting the right thing. Um, obviously, the fan is blowing this thing around a little bit, but if this thing had blow-by, you'd see it kind of dancing and rocking around. This motor has about 20,000 miles on it, and when they get bad blow-by, it, uh, the cap starts to hop, starts to rock around, and it doesn't sit still like that. I'm going to go ahead and pause this and uh, shut the truck off, and then we'll come back and I'll talk to you a little bit more. Okay, so like I was saying before I took a pause here, this is the oil filler cap, and this is just an informational video for those of you that might be out there looking at uh, Cummins trucks. Or, you know, any diesel, really. It doesn't matter. Uh, so this is your oil filler cap. It's going to be in a different po position on a common rail or a 24 valve. But the principle is the same. Uh, when they start to get blow by, you know, they, they start to get, uh, you know, they may have an injector that went bad and washed out a cylinder. Or, you know, they may just be flat worn out, you know, from years and years of, uh, of use. And who knows, somebody might have abused them not maintained them well doesn't matter what the reason is but uh if you see on that video this guy sat exactly like that it sat pretty much totally still a little bit of wobble but that's because i've got the fan shroud off and that didn't help any things but if you are looking at a truck and you see this oil cap just like jumping all around and bouncing up and down or two of the trucks actually the the truck that my brother did his 12 valve swap into you could set it down and it would blow it off the top so you'd never know where it was going to land it would just take the oil cap you loosen it up to where it was unthreaded and it would just blow it off somewhere you couldn't even set it down on there so if you saw, find something like that um please know you know there are there are obviously more causes more reasons that that could be happening it's not automatically a death sentence but it's not ever good. So, it, it, you know, it's not something that you really want to deal with unless you come into that at a price point where you can afford to deal with that. So this is just to help you out. If you find something like that, uh, just buyer beware. Understand that there's something happening inside there that is, it's going to take a little bit of money to fix. Okay, hope this helps out. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I always try to get back to people fast. Um, and yes... Loud and proud, baby. I've got some, I've been in adjusting valve lash and checking some other things in there. So there is some oil on my engine. No biggie. Put some new valve gaskets on it. It'll be good to go. All right, y'all. Have a good one. Take care. And go have fun with your truck.